August was the most insane month, even though I did the least. So in August, I had Vogue email me wanting to feature my brand in their fall edit. I also had an opportunity to showcase in London Fashion Week. And then the last opportunity, you wouldn't believe it, I had a few meetings with a huge store in the US to launch the brand nationwide. But all of these opportunities landed in my inbox. And like I, like I said, I was doing the freaking least in August. So I wanna talk about that in today's video. <laughs> Welcome back to the Start Your Fashion Business channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the host of this channel. If you want to learn about all things fashion business, then you have come to the right place. So I'm a brand owner too, and I also have an ethical garment manufacturing company and I'm a brand mentor. I've helped 1500 brands since 2013. And now I started this YouTube channel to share fashion business tips with you because I want you to have a successful and profitable fashion business. So if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the hit the like button for me, man. <laughs> hit the like button because that just motivates me to create even better content for you. And then you're also going to stay on this fashion business algorithm. Um, and if you have a fashion brand, drop it in the comments below so I can check your brand out. I drop uh, weekly fashion business tips here. So again, you want to subscribe to it, but let's, let's go and dive into this video now because I just have a lot to tell you guys. Um, now that we are in September and I'm like just reflecting on what happened in August, there was like a lot of cool opportunities that just landed in my inbox and I wasn't doing a lot. I wasn't doing a lot at all. Um, so I got like an email, um, you know, to have basically showcase in London fashion week. Of course, this is such a cool opportunity and you know, I, didn't jump on that opportunity in this case because it's not something that my brand wants to focus on right now but it's still such an amazing opportunity you know right now my brand is focusing a lot on like our local market here and we have a lot going on here that doing like a, a fashion show in london is just something that is not making sense right now so i passed on that opportunity but it's still a freaking cool opportunity, right? Um, again, like this is something that if you were to expand in the European market, that is one way that, you know, you definitely want to launch your brand, right? So the next opportunity that I got, um, I got the, this email from Vogue. They want to feature the collection in the upcoming fall winter edit, which is amazing. My brand has been featured in Vogue already. My brand was also named Brand to Watch by Harper's Bazaar. And I've landed a lot of like these types of features, which is great. And I think this is the type of opportunity that is always very good for a brand and has like the most like kind of minimum participation or even minimum fee, right? If you have to pay for a feature, which in a lot of the cases, my features were actually free because they did want to, they did want to feature my brand. But, you know, compared to, let's say a fashion week, um, Oh, yeah, that's like a huge event. Like that's a lot more of an investment, not just monetary, but time as well. So this second opportunity, obviously it's great. Like hell yes, you know? And then the third opportunity, um, like I mentioned, I had a few meetings with a store that wants to introduce the brand to, you know, the nation, the U S of a, this opportunity excites me the most because it's the opportunity that would convert into sales like the other two opportunities the first one is like more of a brand building opportunity the second one is of course marketing doesn't always translate into sales by the way when it's a feature like that but that's for another video and then the third opportunity like that is obviously like the the sales that's what the focus is right so um they want to they're kind of, they're basically interested to launch the brand and we're now in talks. I can't really give you a lot of details yet. So it's not, this video is not even about that yet. This video is about how I landed that. Right. So, but anyways, like, yeah, your girl's happy, especially because I wasn't, like I said, doing a lot in August. I haven't even dropped a freaking collection in ages. 
Um, but how I did this, it all comes down, <laughs> maybe you hate it <laughs> that I'm going to say this, but branding. And, you know, this one super simple word is like literally the backbone of your like brand. One way you can predict your success, so to say, because if you don't have a strong branding, a branding that like is a magnetic brand that people, well, not just any people, right? But like your audience thinks it's cool and they really need it. Like if you don't have that, it's, it's, it's very hard to sell. It's also then very, it's also very hard to market. You're going to need a lot more um, funds to market that way, as opposed to when you're like really focusing on creating like this magnetic brand, then these opportunities, people come to you. You know, I have influencers come to me all the time wanting to collaborate. And some of them would charge for a collaboration because they like my brand. They'll do it for free. They'll do it for products. So please focus on branding. And this is why it's so crucial when you are going to start a brand. It's, it's like almost like the chicken and the egg theory. You know, a lot of people focus on the products first, but they don't focus on the branding and then they focus on like finding a manufacturer, but it's like, okay, that that's something, of course, that's very important, but don't forget the branding, right? Like that is what you really need to focus on at the beginning and branding it. There's a lot involved there because it's your brand strategy, right? That it's also, I, I actually put the business plan as part of that brand strategy, of course. So knowing that, and knowing how to translate that into something that's visually appealing for your audience. So that also means that you really need to know your audience. And what I've come to discover, and this is very interesting, is that a lot of brands don't know their audience, literally don't know their audience. And how do I know this? Because um, I have a garment manufacturing company that's also a consulting agency and you know we have a questionnaire there uh for people that want to work with us and we ask them like who's your ideal audience blah 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 and oftentimes people say i don't even know and we have another question like what are their pain points and they write like how do you even know what pain point they have and so it's very clear to me that like literally 60 percent if not even 70 percent of brand owners that literally have been running a brand for a few years, some of them don't know who they're targeting. And so that is, of course, a concern. <laughs> That's a concern <laughs> because how can you create a brand strategy and a visually, a visually appealing branding if you don't know who it is that you're catering to and you don't know like what what makes them tick, like what their desires are, what solution they want. Uh, and even if they don't know the solution, because your brand is a solution, at least knowing their pain points, like, you know, what's really like getting under their skin? Like what is something they, that they wish exists that they want to, to buy, right? That will make their lives better. So yeah, branding is so freaking important. And once you know all of these things and you literally have created you know this brand that is like you know looks obviously good right because you're in fashion it has to look good but it has to look like so appealing to your ideal customers and that they also understand that this brand is that solution for them and so if you know how to create that and also make your brand like look cool. <laughs> I, know, I know like I probably should use like a smarter word or whatever, but it, it's technically like making your brand hype. Like if you're able to align your brand with certain people, um, let's say some influencers, maybe even some celebrities, right? You can associate your brand with them so that your target customers that look up to these people want to have your brand because they want to be like these people. And that's when they would be like, oh, I need this brand because, you know, this Taylor Swift wore it or maybe not Taylor Swift, maybe, you know, this influencer wore it and they really like that person. Um, so you really need to be able to 
have this strong brand association with other people and other things. So this is why you see a lot of brands that blow up, like for example, Sporty and Rich, they recently dropped a campaign and it's called like the Wall Street campaign, I think. And for their customer, it's very aspirational because it's literally the aesthetic that they love. And so in the campaign, she was, uh, you'll see the model like wearing a Cartier watch, uh, carrying a Birkin, you know? So she's like associating the brand with these luxury brands so that her brand looks luxury and is going to get perceived as a luxury brand to her ideal audience. Do you see what I mean? And so if you can use that similar strategy as well to, you know, kind of like say, Hey, this is the type of brand that I am, then that's really going to help your branding. And it's really going to help you attract people to come to you because again, like with sporty and rich, she's doing it through her campaign. So you could do it through your campaign too. Perhaps your brand, um, you know, think for example, what other brands are your customers wearing that they already love? So when you're styling your brand, you can utilize these other brands that have to be indirect competitors, by the way, to form this perception for your customer so that they, they can basically see themselves in your brand. I hope you're following what I'm talking about here, but honestly, this is so important and I really do not want you to skip this. And there's so much more that obviously goes into branding, which is why I have uh, this mini course called Branding Mastery that I highly, highly recommend that you actually check out. Just check it out and see if this is something that is going to actually help you because it is an investment. Like once you have created a strong branding, everything else makes sense, honestly. And especially as a new brand, this is like the critical the critical piece for your success. Now, if you already have a brand, but maybe your sales have slowed down because this year has been a mess for a lot of people, um, maybe it's time for you to consider a rebrand, especially if you've been doing this for a few years and if sales have really slowed down and you can see, like you can feel it, right? As a brand owner, you can feel if like people aren't really into your brand anymore then a rebrand is most definitely in order. And so for you, I highly recommend that you check out the branding mastery too. Because again, branding, it's an investment and you cannot create a multi-million dollar brand with a one cent branding, okay? So that's why it's something that, like I said, it's an investment for your success. And once you nail this, honestly, I bet you anything, in your inbox, you're gonna get all these opportunities knocking on your door like it has been happening to me. And like I said, it is like an investment into your future because I have built this brand that now I'm, I'm just like picking the opportunities, saying yes and no, yes and no. So if you're like a, if you're the type of person that doesn't like to cold DM, that doesn't like to get rejected and all of those things, like build something so good that people come to you. And that is what I'm going to teach inside branding mastery. So if you want more info on that, I leave it below and I can't wait to see you in the next video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you want daily fashion business tips too.